Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 3.37 from the chapter number 3. The problem is a majority logic function is a boolean function that is equal to 1 if the majority of the variables are equal to 1 and equal to 0 otherwise. Okay, the meaning of this line is if we have suppose 5 digits and out of them if 3 digits are 1 that means majority of them of the 5 digits are 1 then we'll have then this majority logic function will give value 1 and if we have 3 or more than 3 if 3 or 4 or 5 number of digits are 0 then we'll get 0 okay so this is the majority logic function then write a very log user defined primitive for a 4 bit majority function so let us write the very log user defined primitive okay so user defined primitive will write it as udp so here we will write udp majority will write okay so how many bits then we will define here 4 bit majority functions so, so underscore 4 so this is a user defined user defined primitive majority function of 4 bits then we have to write within the brackets the inputs and the outputs okay so why is the output then we have inputs will be we have considered input a comma b comma c comma d these are the declaration of the input and outputs now we will define which which are the outputs and which are the input output output is y okay we have defined here then we have input inputs are a comma b comma c comma d and we have to terminate each line with semicolon so up to here we have declared these variables now we have to make a table that will represent this majority logic function for four bit variables so we will consider all the 16 combinations using four digits okay and from that we will find out the majority function y so here we will write table okay that means here we have started the table then we will write a comment line okay a b c d and y is the output this is the comment line okay so i am writing here comment header column or we can say it as column header comment so therefore we have started with two forward slash then we will write all the 16 combinations below a b c and d okay 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 So these are the 16 combinations okay and for all of them we will find out the majority function majority functions means here we have to count the number of ones if number of ones are greater than the number of zeros then we'll write the majority function to be one and if the number of zeros are greater than the number of ones in these numbers okay then we have to write zero okay in the first line all are zero so we'll write here zero that means majority function is zero here we have three zero and one number of one okay so we'll write here zero similarly here also we have see only one one okay we have three number of zero so number of zeros is greater than number of one so we'll write zero here also we have equal if there it is equal also the majority function will give zero here we can see that number of zeros are greater than number of ones okay so we'll write here zero here also equal so we'll write zero and here we also we can see it is zero and here we can see that the number of ones are greater than the number of zeros that means we have three number of ones and we have only single zero okay so we'll write here one next we have one zero 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 so we'll have zero one zero zero one we have two number of ones and two number of zero so we'll write zero here also zero here also we can see three number of ones so we'll write one here we have equal number of ones and zeros so we'll write zero okay here we have three number of ones we'll write one here also one and in the last we have four ones and no zero so we'll write one so this is the table or this is the majority function table and we have to end this table with n table e n d 
T A B L E. This is a single word, okay? N double. Then we will write N primitive. N primitive. Okay. So this is the Verilog user defined primitive for a 4 bit majority function. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please put it in the comment section below. Also, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.